The Anti-Defamation League is also calling out a record rise in anti-Semitic attacks online. The new report was just released a day before the shooter carried out that attack. So we want to know, do you think President Trump is doing enough to denounce hate speech? You can vote now at WXYZ.com slash vote. Meantime, 7 Action News reporter Amira David spoke with the ADL about where most of the harassment is taking place and what they believe is behind the rise. Amira. Alan Glenda, they believe uh, most of it is taking place on Twitter, which is ironically the same place where that shooter was spewing his hate. We have seen over the past few years a, a giant uptick in uh, online hate. That's what an alarming study from the Anti-Defamation League revealed just a day before one man turned his online hate into concrete action. On Saturday morning, shooter Robert Bowers walked into a Pittsburgh synagogue and took the lives of 11 people, injuring six others. Leading up to the incident, Bowers used Twitter to spew hate, calling Jews the children of Satan. And it's exactly the kind of rhetoric the ADL has been growing awfully concerned about. After analyzing more than 7.5 million Twitter messages from August to September, the ADL found nearly 30% of the accounts were repeatedly tweeting derogatory terms about Jews. Some of them appear to be online bots, but the ones controlled by real humans, they say, are the most harmful. Certainly the technology that we have now arms people who are haters to be able to have a very wide audience. Prime targets have been Jewish journalists and political candidates. An uptick the ADL believes is the result of the upcoming midterm election, but they say it has gotten worse since President Trump was elected. And it's not just online hate the ADL's Detroit office is tracking. We've seen anti-Semitic and white supremacy hate firing in um, Ferndale, Detroit, Lansing, uh, Brighton, um, um, uh, S Sterling Heights, it's everywhere. 7 Action News found this harmful flyering just last week in Sterling Heights. The signs advertising a hateful white supremacist website that denies the Holocaust. More than ever, we really have to be vigilant. We all have to stand together and say, we're not going to take this. This is no place for hate. And the community is coming together to stand up against all of that hate. This evening, it will be taking place at 6 p.m. at Capitol Park in downtown Detroit. If you want more details on the vigil, we'll post them for you on our website, WXYZ.com. For now, in Southfield, Amira David, 7 Action News. And as that woman was saying, this is no place for hate. Amira, thank you.